and boom, there she is. Outdoors RV, titanium edition, 35 foot fifth wheel. And what you might notice is this shower door in my trash can. That's right, because when she arrived, the shower door was smashed. I'm not exactly sure how that happened or why that happened, but today we are gonna change the shower door with a brand new one sent to me by the factory, those great guys at the factory and gals at the factory, and we're gonna take out this old smashed up broken one, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Yes, I do totally realize that I am filming this in the wrong orientation for a YouTube video, and I'm doing that on purpose, and you'll see why in a minute, but it mainly revolves around the fact that uh, most of this uh, work inside is with very slim, tall stuff, like the shower door, and uh, the space is very narrow, so this, I, even though Time to do some work. <sighs> this may have happened to you. Maybe it hasn't. Oh, let's go around this way. Oh, my shower door shattered. So anybody who has these three paned, uh, you know, glass shower doors stands the chance of one of these doors uh, deciding to explode on you and I've heard of this happening to people who like um, you know just from temperature changes like some people have just been sitting in their RV and they just smash like with no movement nothing hitting them nothing doing maybe they get bound up in there I'm not sure but today I'm gonna change mine the uh, manufacturer sent me a new one mine arrived like this and so I wanted to video some of the how to change it when I notice You'll see these little square drive screws up here. And, you know, if you just go to Home Depot, you can buy a pocket hole driver, which has that square tip up there. Put that on your torque driver. That'll break it right loose. Excellent. And what I'm feeling is going to happen is this top rail is going to come off and we're going to slide the new doors in. There we go. After cutting off the sealant there. That'll allow us to slip these doors out. And uh, we'll slip the new doors in, lining them up with the bottom track after cleaning out all that extra glass down there. And then we'll... Uh, Slide that top rail back on, rescrew these back in, and, and let them go. I'll, I'll film that as we do it. As far as I can tell, these shower doors, be sure when you take them screws out, they can block up your little thing down there, because they're little, they're little tiny screws, and they'll go down that drain for sure, and then they're gone. But the, as far as I can tell, the only thing holding this on is the sealant right here, which we're just going to cut. We're just gonna cut that right along there. And then there's some on the other side, but inside here there's nothing else that holds that holds that track down. And there's no sealant on top, which is kind of surprising, but that's all right. We'll just cut this little bit of sealant here. Figure what could go wrong. Worst case scenario, I guess, is you end up with a shower curtain. Excellent. Then we'll make sure this side is cut. We can just put more silicone on later when we're when we're done. Okay, we can go cut the other side. Okay, everything is cut. Now when I was on IRV2, you know, I was on the forums asking just for some confirmation about how this is done from anybody who might have been through this. A lot of people said uh, you know, call a mobile RV technician, take him back to the dealer, do this and the other. And I'm like, why would I do that? This is such a simple job. All it takes is the two of us. But what I've done is I've moved the door down here and I've just kind of worked that loose to make sure that it's good and loose. And then we'll maybe slide the door back to the other side so the weight is not on this side. Then you can kind of do that as well over here. So now what can happen is, with the help of my wife, we can just lift this off, carry it into the bedroom, in the bedroom in there, lay it down, and uh, we'll slide the new glass in and then bring it in and lay it back into this track here. And then uh, we'll, you know, clean all this up, 
line it up with the bottom tracks, and boom, we got a new shower door. In preparation for removing the story, I've bungeed the two remaining doors to each other so they can't just go flying anywhere all over the place as we pull this out because based on the weight of the new door that's in the box of my garage, which I'll show you here in just a minute, this thing uh, isn't exactly light. It's not the heaviest thing in the world, but it's not uh, it's not super light, so we want to be very careful when pulling this out. You know, this tempered glass it's, it's strong, but like just the wrong nick on a corner and it can just shatter on you. And I mean, it's safety glass, so it shatters into these little tiny, you know, like any other safety glass, shatters into these little tiny octagon pieces or what have you. But boy, well, what a mess that would be. So we don't want to do that as we uh, get this shower door out. All right, this is good news. Uh, the old door is off. I uh, Basically what I did was I moved the door here to the center and just got a hold of it, you know, on this side and on this side and just basically lifted, you know, lifted the whole thing up. It wasn't too bad. This slid out real easy down here at the bottom tracks and just scooted it, you know, scooted it along here into the bedroom and leaned it up against the bed where I am now going to see what it takes to remove this top bar. And there's going to be some glass that's going to fall out here. So I'm going to set this, well, I can clean anything. Let's see what happens. All right. There you go. There's one top track removed. This is where the glass shattered out of here. Thank goodness the manufacturer, the guys, the great guys over at Outdoors RV, were nice enough to send us an entire new like shower assembly, they sent the rails and everything. Of course, I don't need the rails, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the new glass, I'm gonna move this out, I'm gonna take the new glass, move the new glass in, slide it into that rail just like you saw me do, and then, like you saw me take it out, I'm gonna slide it in, and then we're just gonna lift it back on, put the two screws in, and we are, we can call that complete. Uh, the way this works is these doors are all locked together. You can see inside here, there's a clip, and there's rollers inside this piece here, and this clip keeps that roller from coming out, which is why you cannot separate the doors. And getting this clip out while it's in the track is impossible because of this top clip piece right here. You, there's no access to it with a rail on top of it, so you're kind of hosed on that one. You can kind of bend this one, but it's just not coming out. These doors are really locked together. If you break one, um, it's almost easier just to replace the whole thing. And these two outside rollers here ride in the track. You know, when you put that top piece on, there's a track on this side and a track on this side. And then uh, the middle door rides in a track between these two. These are very popular doors. You, you see these in a lot of fifth wheels. They're made by a couple of different companies. Uh, this particular one is made by C, S-E-A, out of Canada. And I have no idea what the door costs because I didn't have to buy it. The manufacturer shipped me one because mine was broken right off the bat. And so I've never priced one of these out. I don't imagine that it's cheap. I can't imagine that shipping is any cheaper. This came on a pallet. You'll see this pallet here. They stood this box up and uh, strapped it down to a pallet and had it freighted to me. And I have no idea what they paid for that. Not my business. That top rail, when it sits on top of these wheels, it grabs the wheels and there's not enough room for this wheel to lift out of the track before it reaches the top of the track. So when it's in there, it's really, it's really captive. Like you cannot get it out without removing that top rail. And these little bottom guys down here, these fit and roll in the bottom track. And they just pressure fit in, there's nothing special to them. They just sit there and they just help that, that uh, these little guys spin right here. And so they just help the door, um, you know, roll along its track. And there's a set on each side of each door. All right, we have moved the new door in and uh, you know they're all bungeed up in this little stuff here, which we're pleased with. They kept it together really well. And um, as I was showing you on those outside rollers, we can get a better picture here. What you'll see is the outside roller, outside roller, and then there's a, a captive roller inside here that hangs, that middle door hangs on this door. And if we look at the, if we look at the track, if I turn that over, you can see pretty, hang on a second. You can see pretty clearly how the wheels roll down this outside piece here. You know, they roll down that outside, those outside tracks, and they're captured by that little piece right there at the top, so they cannot come out. So they're not coming out. We're gonna basically just slide this right down these tracks and go lift it in place, 
and uh, we'll see how that turns out. To show you this here, we've okay. So obviously we've slid this rail on here. See, and I wanted to give you a really good peek inside this track so you can fully understand what's going on here. See this little piece here keeps that wheel like completely locked in like so there when, once this rail is on there is no way you're lifting these doors up and out at first i thought maybe you could just lift them and drop them but uh yeah that's there's no way that's going to happen so the only way to remove these doors is to remove this top track which kind of sucks i understand why they did it but really it's not that big of a deal i think the important that we're about to lift this in and i think the important thing at this point is to make sure that you have your rail on where the screw hole is on the appropriate side because if you mess that up you're going to be taking it back down so you want the screw on the inside where it came from and you'll know the door is right if your little latch here is to the outside so just think about that and what we've done is we've bungeed this again so that it, the doors don't try to separate and then we're just going to put those down in that bottom track as we lift from here so we're just gonna you know grab a hold of this lift it up take it into the bathroom set it on top get the doors lined down at the bottom. And uh, we really need to clean that glass out first. So we're gonna stop and clean that glass out of the track. Otherwise we got a bunch of glass down there. And then we'll, uh, I'll show you how that goes. So make sure that when this is in its little tracks here, which hold them nice and steady, that when you're pulling this closed right here, it looks and it feels taut, but you wanna make sure you hear that lock. Mm, good point. I still think we're going to probably travel with a, I don't know that it's necessary, but we may have a bungee cord wrapped around to inside. I can't exactly be sure what made the door shatter in the first place, but it, 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 uh, it definitely was. And I've read some cases online of people's doors shattering for just no good reason. You know, some people cite maybe there's a temperature difference between like a cold morning and the sun coming in from the skylight, making the uh, shower door change temperatures quickly and shatter. Uh, maybe there's some tension, you know, when the glass was put in some of these doors. I mean, I can't imagine that these are like, you know, artisanly made doors. I'm sure they're made quick and cheap. And so there is just no telling. And I'm hoping we don't have another one break. We also thought that maybe the shower head had fallen off and swung and hit the door. But after reading some reports of people's glass doors breaking while they're just sitting in a campground doing nothing kind of makes me speculate that maybe that wasn't the case even though the shower head was all the way down but some people say that they leave them down when they're rentalized so that the liquid can drain out of them if they freeze or something like that i don't know if that's what the truth there is because we live down here in the south we don't know anything about winterizing we don't ever have to do it so but anyhow the door went in good we uh you know lifted these racks down onto place and then we gave it one more final lift while my wife lined up these little pee and they just slipped straight in there was nothing to do there they just went boop that was it super easy and uh, it was super easy now i'm just going to put these screws back in using that same you know craig pocket screw drive and i'm just going to gently put those in and then i'll re-silicone around the top and we'll call this good we'll be done yay we don't want to we definitely don't want to over torque these so we're just gonna kind of go slow on it Where's my other screw? And we'll just put this one in here. I, I need both hands, so I'm gonna set this down. All right, I did not do as near as pretty a job at silicone as the factory did, because I don't care. I know some people really want this stuff to look as perfect as it can be. I'm not one of them. I just want it to work. So uh, one thing I noticed was the factory did not put any sealant on top, which I found kind of strange. And so, I globbed it on top pretty good and made sure that screw was covered. And, and we're going to call that good. That door is locked right now, but that door is good. There's the old handles. We're going to toss all that, toss that old you know, bottom track, and we're ready to rock and roll. All that, we can call this done. This is a done deal now. We can clean up all the rest of this little bits of glass and stuff that was down. You know, that little handy vac was sure handy. There's a little glass down in there. Thank goodness that stopper was closed upon arrival because there was glass shattered I'll, I'll maybe i'll post a picture of that in here but there was glass like all over the showers completely covered and you know uh, on delivery this was one of the only things that were wrong from orv that and it was not overview's fault this is not a, a manufacturer fault problem this is not like a build quality issue this is just one of those stupid things that happens with rvs and 
every RVer with any experience knows that junk like this just happens and you should be prepared to, uh, you know, fix it, handle it, deal with it, not get upset about it. That's for sure. Because out of all my RVing, I've always had something go wrong on just about every trip. And it's like, uh, you know, it's just one of those things you just deal with. You just handle it. But we're really pleased to have this. We considered doing like just a shower curtain, just take this out, put a shower curtain in. But um, I guess we're happy to have this glass door back. At least it's original. So that'll, that'll be, that'll be good.